What's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. Today I just had my small solar set up in my garage. And look at this. I got my new MPPT charge controller. I'm pretty excited. Unfortunately, it's been cloudy for the past two days since I've had it installed. So I can't see the real output that it's putting or what my panels are doing. Um, other than a few, uh, few watts and amps. But, um, it is in. Everything's good. Uh, I do have it kind of wired up. Um, not how I want it, but it's good for now. Um, so I did rearrange the wiring. Uh, first of all, my inver my small inverter. I just, uh, that was in a different place. I just moved that. And, um... I just want to talk about what I'm going to be doing in the future and uh, just a few things um, just to show you this does have a little monitor it's pretty nice um, it tells me everything that's going on uh, so today I produce a whole 0.1 kilowatt hours I know that's so much isn't it well I only have two panels right now so that's all I'm getting um, like I said, it was cloudy all day, so um, I'm not able to get a lot of power right now. But when it's uh, sunny out, I should be able to produce a, uh, quite a bit for two panels. So um, if you have never seen any of my videos before, uh, let me just do a quick rundown of my system. Right now I have two 100-watt uh, solar panels, so I have 200 watts of solar panels going in. I got four six volt batteries. Uh, these two are in parallel, these two are in parallel, then they're in series. So I got series parallel with a total amp hours of 420. Um, I have my main bus bar right here and a little voltmeter, which I'll be getting rid of pretty soon because I won't need it anymore because I have this thing. And I got another voltmeter right here and this little nifty thing is telling me how many amps watts and stuff is going into my batteries it is nighttime right now so there's nothing coming in but um i did get an amp peak of let's see three amps today which isn't bad uh, con uh considering that it's been cloudy and rainy all day long so um yeah, it's not bad, I guess, but I would like to see it on a sunny day to see what I'm producing. Uh, so anyways, um, there might be something that's missing from here. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I have no f breakers on my solar panels or batteries. Only breaker I have is going to my main bus bar, um, which is good because I don't want to be arcing. You know, those are so close together. If I touch those two together, I could arc and damage the system so I definitely want to make sure that's good the reason why I don't have um, that on there and you're probably thinking I'm stupid because uh, it's very important and yes it is but I'm not running anything on the system right now it's basically on standby um, so I'm not too worried about uh, damaging anything because I'm not running anything off of it besides a light and the little radio I got here, which you can't really see, but that's a radio. Um, so I'm not really running anything major. But I do plan on getting uh, some breakers. I actually have the breaker box. It's a nice little small box. I'm going to put um, two breakers in there, maybe three. Um, one will be uh, for my solar panels, which will be 40 amps. And one will be for the um going from the charge controller to the batteries and that will have a breaker on it i will be getting rid of this meter right uh but i'm gonna keep it for a week or two i want to see the amp peak that i could get out of these i know with my old pwm charge controller this one um one day i did get 12 amps out of my two solar panels which is above the rated power for it, but I, um, it was the cloud edge effect, um, and basically it was spiking up to 12 amps. Um, but on a regular sunny day where it's charging the batteries and my batteries need to be charged, I would get an easy 10 amps. So um, I'm expecting over 10 amps. Uh, we will see on what this does is an MPPT charge controller, so it should 
give out more amperage. Um, I do have my solar panels hooked up in series, not parallel anymore. They were in parallel with this PWM, but since uh, MPT or MPPT controller, you want them in series to get more volts. Um, so hopefully we get a lot more uh, amps and I will be taking a look and uh, seeing what's going on there and hopefully we're good. Um, so I do plan on getting breakers like I said I just you know have to buy them and hook them up and that's going to be a whole nother wiring project for me. <clears throat> uh, what else here? So so yeah, that's about it. I mean, uh, I'm pretty excited. I hope, I hope I get some good results from this. There's been really good reviews on this charge controller. Um, it was cheaper than a Renogy tracer. Um, the Renogy tracer with a monitor system like this, which looks exactly like it, like 240 bucks or something. This was 200 bucks with that monitor. So, and it had awesome reviews, a lot of YouTube videos on it. So, I went ahead and bought it, and I think it'll do good. Um, I did have to buy a little temperature sen sensor. Um, it's not on my batteries, but it's, I mean, it's room temperature of what my batteries are going to be. Until the summer, I'm going to hook it up better. But until then, that's how I'm going to do it. So, I do plan on getting rid of this one, this voltmeter, and that voltmeter. Uh, once I see some sun and see my amp peak. The, set, the bad thing about this is that you just, you can't see any amp peak from this. Um, so, I'm not able to see. So, yeah. So, I will be making a whole bunch more videos. And I do want to share on my upcoming videos this summer... Um, of course, I'm going to be getting more solar panels. What else I'll be doing is um, running a washer, a homemade dryer in a washer off of my solar panels. So that's going to be a pretty interesting video, so stick around for that. If you are new to my channel, like and subscribe to this, and you will see a whole bunch more videos just like this. Um, a whole bunch of electronics, uh, solar panels, stuff like that. I do plan on ex um, expanding the system a lot. So you can watch as I grow. And um, give me a like, subscribe, uh, click the little bell to uh, get notifications when I make new videos so you can see them. And I will catch you guys uh, on, on the next video. Alright, talk to you later.